What's dramatic about what's currently going on is that we're only part way through a major process that's set to continue for the next 50 years at least. And what is also unusual is the speed with which the change in competitive advantage is taking place. The reason for this being important is that the pace of economic change in the East has been so massive that attitudes have not adjusted anything like as quickly as the economies. When you get prosperous gradually, societies tend to ease up. People work less hard, they spend a rising proportion on public services, even at the cost of higher taxes. They introduce welfare systems. They stop saving and investing, let others do that for them. They start taking economic growth for granted. They become uh, more concerned to tame what they see as the excesses of business rather than treating business as something they want to support. And that's roughly where we are in the West today. In the East, prosperity has come so rapidly that attitudes have yet to shift. They behave with the hunger of societies that are poor, even though they are becoming, or have already become in some cases, already rich. They don't take prosperity for granted. <laughs> in Singapore, GDP per capita is already 30% higher than in the UK if you uh, use uh, purchasing power adjusted data. In Hong Kong, GDP per capita is 50% higher than in the UK. Yet they both work just as many hours per year as they did when they were poor. And compared with us Brits now, they work five more months a year. That's pretty stunning. They've held down public spending. Singapore, in the East, has a reputation for being sort of a bit left wing. And they're their public spending share of GDP is 17.3%. Hong Kong is seen as rather more capitalist, and their share is 16.7%, which seems to be the extent of the argument between, East and, uh, between left and right in the East. The top rate of tax in Singapore is 20%. The top rate of tax in Hong Kong is 15%. And their public services in areas that matter are generally better than ours. The health services are so good that their life expectancy has rocketed past ours. Hong Kongers now live longer than anyone else on the planet, two years longer than us, and Singaporeans live one year longer than us. And anyone who's traveled on the Singapore or Hong Kong metro systems will know how they compare with ours. It's not surprising that jobs are flowing out from the UK, and particularly from the city, to these centers today. <laughs> 